72 hours after one of the most brazen attacks ever witnessed in the nation's correctional center since 2015, President Muhammad Buhari summons what seems like an emergency meeting of the National Security Council at the State House. The number of security attacks, including that of the Kujé Correctional Center, the president's convoy in Katsina, the Shiroro attack in Niger State, among others, in the last two weeks, came under review in the nearly four-hour meeting. The police affairs minister conveys the president's state of mind. Uh, Mr. President is uh, surprised that what happened in Kujé actually took place in spite of all the security arrangements that have been made to ensure that such an incident does not happen. Uh, we are assuring the nation and Nigerians in general that uh, uh, arrangements have been made to ensure that uh, full investigations are carried out and to ensure that uh, a repeat of uh, the instances will not occur. According to him, the security personnel at the Kujé medium prisons, where all 69 Boko Haram detainees escaped, among hundreds of others, were simply overpowered. These kind of things, uh, they happen. And uh, I, I want to assure you that uh, all those who are supposed to play a role in ensuring that the attack is uh, neutralized, did the best that they could to neutralize it. I, I think uh, what helped them was the number of people they came with and uh, the superior weapons they came with. And uh, uh, because nobody anticipated it, the few people who were there guarding the place could not withstand the number that they came with. I think that was what happened. But like I said, uh, this investigation is still going on and uh, you will only do good to allow the investigation to continue and maybe by the time they finish, you will be able to get the details of what actually happened and why it happened. But there have been about a dozen attacks on correctional centers across the country in the last six years, the latest of which exposed the weak infrastructure within the prisons. Now, what impact will the current investigation have? How cogent will it be to forestall further occurrence? And what about the outcomes of the previous investigations? Well, these are questions, unanswered questions. From the presidential villa, Gloria Umezuke, Channels Television News.